Do you believe racism exists? Oh, absolutely. Do you have any proof of that? Well, I obviously know uh, the history a little of our country and of our world for that matter. Racism is not limited to the United States of America. But yes, racism exists and give, still exists. Give me it, proof. I believe we've made some progress in the last few years, in the last maybe generation or two. But honestly, I went to Atlanta some while ago. I'd never been to that city before. And I went to the Ebenezer Baptist Church because I wanted to see where Martin Luther King had preached. And across the street is a museum. And I went to the museum across the street and I was absolutely shocked. I had no knowledge of Jim Crow laws. Do you know back then in the South that a black baseball team could not play on the same um, baseball diamond as a white baseball team, a little league team. We're talking little boys, that they were segregated by race and they were also not allowed to even play on the same baseball field on different days. They were segregated physically, totally. The cemeteries were segre segregated as well. You could only be buried in certain areas. You couldn't be uh, buried in the white cemetery. The um, We all know about drinking fountains, where there were colored drinking fountains for black people and white drinking fountains for everybody else. Those kinds of, of divisions and separations, I think, are totally abhorrent and against God's will. Amazing. I personally Amazing. believe it is against God's will. And I think that we are doing the same thing with gender when we try to divide and separate and say, you can do this, but you can't do that. I believe it's up to the individual that God has given agency to to make their decisions. And so do you have any proof that racism exists or ever existed? Well, honestly, that museum was full of it. It had the documents. It had the laws. It had the testimonies from individuals who were taped on videotape. So, yes, there's total proof abounding about that. Oh, so are you saying that that is proof that racism existed at one time or is this? Are you saying no, that's I'm proof saying of that it? We had we had a we had a situation, at least in, as far as I know, it was in mostly the southern states, where there was a complete separation between white and black lives. Are you saying that is proof of racism? Yes. Then why didn't the blacks and the whites see that as racism back then? Because prior to the civil rights movement, uh, the blacks and the whites didn't see that as racism. And there oh, were some Harriet white Tubman people. That I was, think Harriet Tubman was an absolute heroine of rescuing slaves from the South who were unfortunately unable to escape without assistance from their bondage. But I'm asking they were you in total bondage. Why didn't the blacks see that as racism back then? Why did they all did. of a sudden if they did? Did you never read Frederick Douglass? Where is Frederick Douglass now? He's dead, but I back rest then, my case. <laughs> well, we're nobody's immortal, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> I um I grew up under Jim Crow law. I know about the colors only and the whites only. I was I grew up in Alabama at that time. My gosh! And black people were better off then than they are today, and they were doing just fine until the so-called civil rights movement came along. And the civil rights movement, Martin Luther King, although God told the blacks, oh, you're being discriminated against. This is wrong. We want to be your leaders. We're going to make the white people love you. And they and the, some of the blacks fell for that. But the older black people didn't want us to be a part of the civil rights movement because they knew it was a setup. And so they brought in the civil rights movement. Jesse Jackson and all those guys said, oh, this is bad. This is racism. And they, they became the leader of the people, the blacks, and then they sold the blacks over to the Democratic Party because most black people were Republicans at that time. And it's just been downhill for the blacks ever since. They have not, for, not all, not all, but they're not independent, independent thinkers. They don't 
they don't have families anymore for the most part. They are begging and blaming the white people. Enough is never enough. We've given them everything they asked for. They're still begging and blaming the white people. Why did the black get worse under the so-called civil rights movement than they were before the civil rights movement? I disagree totally. And what? I was there. I disagree totally. I don't know if you really think you're better off now or worse off now. That may be your personal experience. But I know that for the country and for the people in our country, we're better off now. No, the but black people. my opinion, and I'm going to stick to it. But have you noticed the blacks beg and whine and they want to lower the I standards in our I country? I don't characterize that at all. I think that well, we why do have they want why do they want affirmative people. why do they want affirmative action and reparation rather than earn in their way? We have a completely different worldview, and I don't want to get into an argument with you about it, Jesse. But you uh, you can discuss this with your community. But my uh, opinion is that our country can do better. What else do y'all need to do for the blacks to make them better? Our country can do better for everyone. What can they do for the blacks before the blacks say, that's enough? We had enough. It's, We're going to do it on our own. Well, you know, I can't speak for the blacks. That is up for discussion, but I'm not in authority or knowledge or experience to take that on. I cannot take that on. So do you disagree with me that the civil rights movement, other than abortion, was the worst thing that ever happened to the blacks? I think the civil rights movement was a absolute wonderful thing. What the? Everybody. And so what's wrong with the blacks then? Why can't they? If the civil I rights said movement I was can't speak to that. That is not my issue. I cannot deal with what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. The people I deal with don't have the same attitude about blacks or about Latinos or about Asian Americans. We have a much more um, inclusive approach with uh, the folks that I work with in the legislature, and we respect each other, and we respect each other's heritage. Are you afraid to, let's say you're in the legislature, right? You know how loud mouthy black women are in, in the legislature. If you disagree with a black woman in, in government, will you be, are you brave enough to tell her, you know what, I disagree, you're wrong. Are you Jesse, brave I'm enough? disagreeing with you. I guess I could disagree with someone who's a woman. But, I, you know, <laughs> at the most part, it's not something I'd, I would uh, enter into an argument with. I, I'll would blame try you. To find, I try to find a path forward to get to yes. Why would you argue with a black woman in government and legislative? I, I do not argue with people in legislatures. I listen, I listen, and I try to bring them forward to find common ground. That's how we make progress, Jesse. If uh, we just sit around and argue with each other, we don't get anywhere.